Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Let's go to the book of 1 Peter, chapter number 2, as we wrap up our series on forsaking foolishness. Uh, this will be the last part, <clears throat> excuse me, the last segment of the uh, Forsaking Foolishness series uh, based out of Proverbs chapter 9, how for those of us who seek wisdom and the wisdom of God, we must forsake the foolish. And so we're going to look at the last part of this, of this, 1 Peter chapter number 2, let's read verses 13 through 17. Starting with verse 13, the Bible says, Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. These are, uh, <laughs> these are very, very interesting words uh, that uh, Peter is saying here by inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Essentially, he says here, you know, again, I want to highlight... For, because this is part of a series, to um, that we may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. And when you look at the surrounding verses and the context of this verse, it's very, very clear that it's talking about submission to authority. As it, it, well, that's what we should be doing as believers. We need to submit to our authority. Uh, and of course, in other passages, it talks about submitting to the higher authority and the supreme authority of, uh, of believers is the word of God, really of mankind. It's just, you know, most men won't uh, admit to it, won't, won't, won't uh, submit to the word of God. But this is the word of God is the final authority for all mankind. But for those of us who search Christ, search God and, and seek God and, and uh, follow Christ, this should be an obvious thing, right? This is the final authority. For those of us who live in the United States, as far as the government is concerned, the supreme authority of our land in the United States is the Constitution. We don't have a king. At least we're not supposed to. <laughs> According to our governmental structure, our king or supreme authority is the Constitution. And it says here in First Peter that we are to submit to our authority, whether it be a king or unto governors or whatever the authoritative figure is. And so it is important that we know who and what that is so that we know what the higher powers are. Because notice that Peter mentions the king versus the governor, right? What, and, and he uses, um, let's see here, he uses these words, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. I understand that Pretty much every government in the world is corrupt. Yeah, I, I get that. I understand that. Obviously, don't go along with corruption. You know, you, you, you stay within biblical principle and the word of God will guide you uh, through what is right and what is wrong and what is good and what is evil. Okay, but look at the, the wording of this here. Governors, uh, for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. And so the government, for the most part, is supposed to keep bad guys at bay and promote those who do well. Um, even the Roman government did that to some extent. Uh, you know, you could just go around murdering anybody you wanted. Uh, well, <laughs> unless you were a government official, that's, that's a whole other sermon for another time. But, uh, <clears throat> but this is talking about submitting to authority and these foolish the ignorance of foolish men that we are to avoid in this situation 
are those who are lawbreakers, those who don't care about the law. We are to avoid them. And once again, I bring to your attention, because obviously I don't think I have to tell you that if someone's doing crack cocaine, you know, breaking the law or, 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 or prostitution or a gang member or, uh, you know, um, obvious criminals, okay, I, I don't think I have to tell you to stay away from those kinds of people, right? Uh, that's a little obvious. I think, uh, whether, whether you're a believer or not, most people in our society in the United States know, okay, you know what, that's, that's bad news. That's not, <laughs> by and large, uh, you know, it is, uh, we, we are, we're all in agreement there as a society, uh, you know, to, to stay away from those kinds of lawbreakers. Um, but this is talking about all lawbreakers, okay? And again, Back to our specific country in the United States, our supreme law is the Constitution. And so those who don't care about the Constitution and are willing to defy our Constitution is essentially defying the law of the land. And that's ignorance. I mean, it's, it's, it, is, it, is, it is ignorance to not know the law of your land and to purposely go along with, with breaking those laws. And so as believers, we ought to know the Constitution. As American believers, we ought to know the Constitution and be familiar with it so that we can submit to uh, the, the Constitution, the law of our land, okay? Or if there's something unbiblical about it, we can uh, uh, you know, work towards changing it or, or do something. But but we definitely should not be ignorant and we definitely should not go along with those who are ignorant, especially purposely ignorant, because that's, that's, that's rebellion and it's foolishness. And if we seek the wisdom of God, then we need to forsake foolishness. Thank you so much for joining me. And for those of you who have been following for this whole series, uh, you know, thank you for, for listening and uh, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Stay close to the word of God and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.